Hey, what's up, everybody? Fred Minnick here, and today I'm going to jump into uh, Kuiper Belt. This is a six-year-old bourbon. Now, Kuiper Belt is named after you know the Kuiper Belt in the um, in the sky, you know, in space. You, know, you can see a, you can see kind of a, a look of it right there. I'm not really into astronomy, but I am familiar enough with Kuiper Belt to know it's a thing. Um, at any rate, so. This is E40, or e Earl Stevens bourbon. E40 is, of course, the, the famous rapper who, uh, whose you know, best, song, best known song is uh, Hurricane. So he uh, started a beverage company and has uh, a, a lot of wine skews out there, and he has a lot of spirits out there. Uh, his gin's very good. Uh, his bourbon, actually, a couple years ago, won my best celebrity whiskey. So that was in 2000, it was prior to the pandemic, so I'd say 2019. I, I'd have to look that up, but I'm pretty sure it was 2019. And that was a 10-year-old, if I recall. So he does uh, have a track record of putting out good product. Uh, the other thing about um, E40 is that he has a, a food company, too, called Goon with a Spoon. So he has a an entire you know, world outside of his incredibly successful rap career. Now, he does have some partners uh, that are very silent in, in this community, but I do, I do know um, who he works with. Unfortunately, I can't reveal that. It's one of those where, like, you know, when you, when you make an agreement to say, like, um, it's confidential, I won't share it off the record, uh, I, can't, I can't share that. And, you know, the minute I start sharing things that I get off the record, then, then I'm a shit turd and uh, violated a, a, a word. And I am a man of my word, so I will not share that. But I will say that they are people who know the business well. So um, my guess is they they probably have a lot of access to to uh, good Kentucky bourbon. They probably purchased it years ago, so they're not in that frenzy of uh, vying for barrels right now like a lot of people are. Now here is how I that make what makes me think that. The SRP on this is $60. It's 90 proof. It's Kentucky bourbon. The SRP is $60. If you see a new or an NDP brand come out and they are $60, whoo, that is rare. Uh, usually they are charging $90 to uh, $200 for a six-year-old Kentucky bourbon. So $60, well, look, you know, would I like it to be $40? Absolutely. But let's be very candid here. $60 is better than 130 <laughs> which is what a, a most of these uh, six-year-old uh, source Kentucky bourbons are coming out at. So there we go. We got the little synthetic cork there. It's got like a little orange topper, nice little groove. I'm not the biggest fan of synthetic corks, but you know what? It's not something that I'm going to get too pissy about. Yeah, first pour out of there. Put this back on there. Now, E40 is an enormous Golden State fan. So if you're ever watching a Golden State um, Golden State Warriors game, you can see him on the, on the front row. He's got his big coats on and everything. He's also a big 49ers fan. So if you follow him on Instagram, you can see a lot of his like uh, sports love being played out there. So, okay, here we go. Okay, so it's got a very sharp nose. Very caramelly forward, which if you ever, if you ever want to do or uh, become like a whiskey reviewer, get to know the smell of caramel, because um, it should be in, in a product that's north of six years old in Kentucky bourbon, especially. And this has it. This has that quintessential Kentucky bourbon caramel smell. You might want to say vanilla. There's something in here too. I want to say something like Play-Doh. Not a there. There's two really nice notes and a caramel and vanilla, and then there's a ooh. Don't want to smell that. And I would say it's between Play-Doh and uh, drywall. Now here's the thing: when you smell something like that, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to taste it. It could be, it could be from that cork. You know, could that that. Uh, plasticky kind of thing could kind of had a little impact there but most likely not it just could be 
Could be any number of things. I can't tell you why things necessarily get there. I can just say I smell it. Okay, here we go. Definitely spicy. It's not the sweet bomb I thought it might be. There are no flaws in there that are like drywall or anything like that. So that that no that nose I picked up there are definitely a fluke. Um, but the palate is is very warm, spicy. This is reminding me a lot of like a gingerbread cookie. So you have that kind of like um, that spice and sweetness of the gingerbread. Um, you know, depending on who made it, you could have some cinnamon on there. You could have some nutmeg, but this tastes a lot like a gingerbread cookie, which my wife makes these most amazing gingerbread cookies. I wish she would make more of them. Actually, it's a good thing that she doesn't because I eat the whole batch. Do you have a cookie like that? Is there a cookie that you will just like just stop what you're doing and devour the whole the whole pan or the whole package put it in the comments section because i feel like if we can if we can't bond over bourbon we can bond over cookies because i love cookies in fact if if we're at you know if the wait waiter or server asks for like you know do you have a do you want a dessert and i see just a single cookie on there i will buy that single cookie over like a piece of cake or something I wish more restaurants would do that. I would just want one single cookie for my dessert. I don't need the whole like 15 pound cheesecake or whatever. Just give me a chocolate chip cookie, maybe a peanut butter cookie. Okay, I gotta stop talking about cookies and get back to the whiskey. So this gingerbread cookie is really dominant here. It's beautiful actually. And I get kind of a butterscotchy um, afterwards so that caramel does develop for me on that second taste the spice uh kind of dissipates toward the end i'd say that the finish is is not where i would like it uh, the finish is pretty medium to short it's not a very long finish but of course at 90 proof you can't expect uh, i i shouldn't say that proof is not always an indication of finish but for what this is, this is fantastic. Uh, this is a fantastic um, non-distiller producer product. Uh, this is very tasty. I would pro I would pick this up. I would I would rank this above Evan Williams, and I would rank this between Evan Williams Bottle and Bond and Old Forester 1920. Now there's a lot of room there. There's a lot of proof changes, but I'm buying this over Woodford Reserve. I'm buying this over Maker's Mark. I'm buying it over. 1792 regular now when it comes to that next that next league you know i'm going to stop and consider am i going to buy this over smoke wagon small batch uncut or smoke wagons uncut unfiltered uh am i going to buy this over four rows of single barrel that's where i kind of do a double take here so i have i have a lot of good thoughts on uh the kuiper belt the uh the six-year-old release but at the same time I, I don't think it's it's at that level that it knocks off Old Forester 1920. That being said, this is a $60 uh, bottle if you can afford it. I highly recommend it. If you're a traditional Kentucky bourbon drinker, I highly recommend it. Uh, if you are someone uh, who just, you know, wants another six-year-old bourbon in the house, I recommend it. There's not really anybody I don't recommend this for. The only people I would not recommend it for are those who find $60 to be too much, which I completely understand, especially in this economy. This is 60 bucks can be the difference between the power being on one month and not the next. So I respect that entirely. But that's going to do it for uh, for this review. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, once again, this was Kuiper Belt Kentucky Straight Bourbon, age six years, 90 proof, and an SRP of $60, owned by the rapper E40 or Earl Stevens. But if, if you'd be so kind, click that uh, subscribe button, or if you want to become a member of my whiskey group called Club Marzipan, exclusive content over there, as well as access to my barrel picks. You can learn more about that in the description. That's going to do it, folks. Be safe out there. Cheers. Oh, and vodka sucks, unless it's being used to clean up the murder of a dead cat.